So this is all starting to feel quite sad now. As you know, we're closing down. And I just keep having memories of all the things that we've changed and improved in the shop and all the great customers we've met and things we've done. Just really does start to feel sad. We've, um, we've now started to empty the loft of all the storage stuff that we've got, mainly sort of wheels and older stock. Uh, that's all being sold off. Uh, so many of you have come down and uh, picked up some bargains on our sale. Um, obviously, the more we shift, the, the easier and better this is going to go for myself. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's sad. As of the point of shooting this video, we are now down to just four bikes, um, which, fingers crossed, with it being a Saturday, uh, they'll hopefully all move today. Um, got a couple of bikes to pick up. We've had a little bit of a change around in the shop just to try and bring all the stock up to the front. Um, and then we've got uh, cabinets. Uh, this one's got quite a lot of history with our cycles. Um, it originally was our Oakley cabinet uh, back in the days when we did Oakley. Um, and then uh, about 15 years ago when we uh, felt that that wasn't working, we changed it and had it uh, altered into a Hope branded uh, locking cabinet. And then the clothing room. This is one of my big ventures was to do clothing, shoes and helmets. And I remember my father-in-law, bless his soul, came and put this artificial wall in, which this used to be part of our storage area. But with this artificial wall, we was able to board it out and offer some great clothing brands and extend our helmets and display our shoes better. And it just seems a shame of all that work, but now it's empty. Um, again, not much left of our clothes. And as of today, this is our last day for repairs. So uh, on Tuesday when we return, our workshop's going to be taken to bits. Um, we've already sold the bench units and some of the tools. We've just got a couple of repairs just to finish off. Um, and, and that will be it. We'll have just next week to empty the workshop um, and, and sort all the tools out and throw away the rubbish and tidy up. But again, this workshop, we did a massive re reverb in this, um, painting the floor and all the walls and putting all the new benches in and uh, making a third stand so we could do even more repairs or turn things around even faster. Uh, obviously, we, um, we went computerized as well, which was a huge step forward for the workshop, being able to book people in online um, and do updates to your electric bikes and uh, be able to search for parts and order the parts quickly and yeah, yep. There's a, not much going on in the back here. Uh, Dave's just finishing off some bits. We're just got a few repairs that are completed that will be collected soon. And uh, the wheel jig, uh, wheel truing stand and everything will be taking all that down on Tuesday. Removing all the brackets off the walls um, and we'll be approaching that end of an era. As I say, it is sad, but unfortunately I have reached the end of my lease and at absolute best, I could have probably negotiated the lease to have saved the same price at the best. It really needed to go up, but we were finding it difficult. Uh, five years lease, the gas and the electric this year has absolutely crippled us. Wages continue to go up. The profit margin from both Trek and Specialized has slightly dropped. They also now go direct online as well. So you can bypass the shop and go direct with Specialized and Trek. Doesn't really help your independent shop. So really the whole trade just isn't going in the right direction. 
I don't think I'm making the wrong decision, which is the sad thing. The direction of retail in general just isn't friendly. The online prices are too competitive. Even though you are lighting the place, heating it, having trained staff giving you the best advice so you know that you're buying the right thing. For then some people to go off and buy online, others to buy from you, but then with such little profit margin after you've prepared the bike and then handed it over, it's not a very profitable, profitable trade anymore, which is why I've taken the decision I have. It is sad. I have had some great times. I have met some amazing people and a lot of them I genuinely hope to stay in contact with. And I do hope that in the future I can do a lot more cycling myself now without all the stress of the shop. Um, I'll be working for somebody. Uh, so I'll know when I'm working and when I'm at home. And I also think I might get the opportunity to do a bit of riding while away with work as well. So I'll get to see some new places. So I'm very excited about the future. Um, it's been lovely as well. So many of the old members of staff have contacted or been in. We've had people come in from even before I started at Ara Cycles 25 years ago, coming in and shaking my hand and having a good old reminisce. It's been great. Um, I wish all of you the very best. And um, I'll probably give you just another update video a week today which will be the last day uh, that will be the day I lock the door and say goodbye but for now I've got a few more bits to sell a couple more bikes to sell and we've got one week left so thank you very much if you've already been in and seen me all the best and I'll speak to you soon take care